Incept... Incept... Pussy. Okay, let me get this out of the way. Leonardo DiCaprio's... Bitch! There, I did the thing. Shut you the hell up about it. Okay, so you remember when this movie came out and you thought it was really clever and original? Well, that's because you're actually fucking dumb. I'm sorry you had to find out this way. Disclaimer, I'm not sorry and you're dumb. And I mean, okay, I get it. You were comparing it to shit like, you know, Transformers. And while Leonardo DiCaprio never dies and goes to robot heaven like shy that Indian kid. It's still just as smelly and Indian. I'm sorry, that's just what happens when you cook on a walk. I didn't make the laws of physics. So let's get this dick rolling. Inception is a movie about people that have really fucking boring dreams. And then way too many characters go into said boring dreams and do stuff. Leonardo DiCaprio is the same character that he played in which came out earlier and was way fucking better. So they're in this Asian dude's dream, and then the Asian dude sees that they're trying to steal stuff from his dream, and then they get out of the dream. Then they throw the Asian dude on the carpet, and he starts rubbing his face up on it all gay, and he's like... <laughs> and then the dream with the carpet was a dream, and then they wake up from that dream, and then the Asian guy says... Oh, shit! <laughs> What you do with my carpet? Please do what you do with my carpet. To all your people, I give you money. You can see family again. So he basically wants him to go into some guy's dream and put an idea in his head. It's called the title of the movie. So then it's time to explain things for fucking two hours. Leonardo the clip clop has to get people to go into the dream with him because he's afraid of the dark or something. They need one person to make maps in the dream. They need another person to be bitches in the dream. They need another person to do something. What the fuck did Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character even do? They needed the Asian guy so he could go in and get shot, like, immediately. And they need a guy that could make sedatives. Okay, so they can just pull a machine that lets you go into people's dreams out of their asses. That's fine. Invent tequila shooters chased with Tylenol PM, and all of a sudden it requires in-depth explanation and a full-on character. Furthermore, if one of these characters is designing the dreams, why can't they do, like, two or three of these things and cut out a bunch of fucking useless characters. Also, this movie is very fucking keen on establishing the rules of dream, which is dumb because when you're delving into something like the human psyche, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Way to put yourself in a box of writing. Writing box! Ah, oh, Jesus, how do I get out of the box? I'm trapped with all the stupid. We'll get back to this later. I ain't done with it yet. Okay, so basically, you want to get out of a dream. There's two ways to do it. Bitch. One, you get tipped over and fall. Or two, you kill yourself. For the dream. You catch 22 is as if you're still under the sedative and then you kill yourself into the dream. You go to a place called Limbo. How low can you go? Okay, that's not funny. Limbo makes no goddamn sense. I mean, don't get me wrong, the movie explained if it. If you haven't noticed, this movie has a massive fucking stiffy for explaining shit to you. Probably got its own class started up at the local community center so it could teach shit and beat so off. So basically, Leonardo DeFagio gets his wife into Limbo because they were sleeping too much something. Bitch wouldn't be sleeping at all if she was in my bed. Cause I'd be fucking her ass! Then I'd go into her dream and fuck her ass again! Stupid big eyes, I hate her! So I'm in limbo for a really long time, and then she makes herself forget that she's in limbo so she thinks it's real, then Leonardo DiCaprio makes her remember that she's in limbo! And she got a tippity top that doesn't tippity topple if she spins it around in a dream! And she puts it in a safe, it's mental imagery, it's gay! Anyway, Leonardo spins Raphael's top, and then she knows that they're in a dream! Naturally, it's time to lay down on the train tracks and kill yourself! And he's like, you're ready for a train, and you don't know where it's gonna take you! Oh no, Limbo is terrible! It's just like in other dream, only you know you're in it, and you can get out of it in the same exact way! I must make myself forget this! What? So anyway, Leonardo DiCaprio's wife still thinks she's in a dream in the real world, and then she kills herself for realsies. But girls have to do everything in twos, like go to the bathroom. Gotta put some pressure on that asshole. Come on, dude, you like it, put a ring on and it. And by that I mean fuck her in the ass so hard that it leaves a ring on the inside Makes it look like he killed her, because he didn't want to kill himself for reals, because he's not fucking stupid. And now he's on the run from the law, and he can't see his dick-ugly children. And whenever he goes into the dream, his dead wife comes in and tries to kill people. Are we ready to start the fucking plot yet? I want to get my boring white-collar heist movie. So basically the idea is that some dude is inheriting a business. Fuck that, we gotta split it up. So they gotta plant the idea that he shouldn't be like his dad. Oh no!
So they go into his dream, and he's dreaming about New York. Yeah, just regular New York. So then they kidnap him. And then they ask him about a code. But the guy's been trained to withstand dream thieves. Which means that the whole entire universe and fabrication of reality that they are in is against them. And the best it can come up with is dudes with guns. And then the Asian guy gets shot, and he's like, Oh, top of the morning, I've been shot. I'm so glad we brought you! Well, then they put him in the back of a car and drive away in a super high-speed chase. While they're having the chance to put the business guy to sleep again. Going deeper into his psyche and deeper into his subconscious. And it's a hotel. Just a regular hotel. <sighs> and then Leonardo DiCaprio convinces the business dude that he's one of the dudes with guns that is from his mind and is trying to help him. So then the business dude is on their side. I can feel the conflict slipping away already. Jesus, go down another level! Okay, so this is kind of interesting. They're in the snow. And there are dudes with guns in the snow. Wow, gloves really came off there. So business dude has to get into, like, the Russian base or whatever in the snow. Okay, time for the explosive climax. Ready? Keep in mind, each of these layers of dreams is in, like, slow motion compared to the next one. Guy goes off the bridge in the van. So in the hotel, it's got low gravity. So then the dude that doesn't do anything just fights a random dude, but with no gravity. Crazy, right? Then on the next level, there's gravity again. Then Leonardo DiCaprio's wife comes out with her fucking... Fucking Glock, I'll BAM! Business guy goes down after he's done sucking the dick and gets shot. And the Asian motherfucker's like, Oh my, I have been shot again, man. Fuck's sake! So then Leonardo sees his wife in the dream. Now he's gotta go in to save the Asian guy so he can get him out of dying dreams so he can save him. What the fuck happened here? Did Limbo just become another level of dreaming? Cause that, that wasn't what it was originally. So they find his cunt wife, which has got the businessman, then they killed dead the businessman that gets out. And the business guy finds his dad in the coma and sucks his dick. Turns out planning subconscious ideas is wicked gay, who knew? Well, Leonardo still's gotta find the Asian guy so he can wake up from the dream so he can get money, get paid, sweat! Oh my god, who cares at this point? I mean, seriously, god damn it, like, you can make new kids. Preferably with someone that's not crazy. Or preferably with someone that's crazy but not ugly. That's why I said I'd fuck her in the ass because I don't want her to get my genetics. Except in her ass. Anyway, he finds the Asian guy, and the Asian guy's all, I'm an old man, the red thing at the time. And then he gets him out, and then he goes home, and he sees his dick ugly kids, and he spins his tippity top. So the top kind of tits like it's gonna topple, and then the movie just cuts off. Fuck, that's so deep. So at the end, everything basically comes down to, does that top fall over, and he's in reality, or does it keep spinning and he's dreaming? I personally know the true ending to this movie, and that's that there isn't one. There were just a bunch of people sitting around a table and they thought, hey, people would talk about our movie and think it was super smart if we made it so it seemed like it was open to interpretation. You're a part of their box, open your eyes! Writing box! I told you I'd be back, motherfucker! Frankly, it is disgusting how uncreative the writing team for this movie is. You ever had a dream where you're riding on a dragon, playing a wicked awesome guitar solo, shooting lasers, and getting your Dick suck. Where the fuck was that shit? Ever had a hellish nightmare where you're being chased around by the naked decaying corpse of your grandmother with a bleeding skinless muscular arm jutting out of her mouth from behind the fangled teeth of a dislocated jaw clawing at you as she screams that she's gonna take your eyes? Well, that's cause you're sick in the fucking head. Seriously, what is wrong with you?